Hello friends, this is Arun and welcome to my channel Photo Show Photography in Lightroom. Uh, today we will learn about a effect that is called a vintage effect. So it is a really beautiful effect as you can see here. And I have got so many mails to get uh, students want to learn more about this uh, vintage effect and they want foggy effect on the image. So, uh, so I have decided to start a new series on vintage and uh, especially with the next software that is very very easy and very easy to understand and uh, this effect is very famous in photography that is called vintage effect. Uh, students, uh, if you want to learn photography, Photoshop or Lightroom then uh, you can contact me at my uh, given number in my channels. Uh, if you want to learn photography nearby Ludhiana or Punjab, you can contact me anytime. So let's see how to work with this image. So firstly I have image and then uh, I will go to filter then there is a next software collection then I will go to color effects pro 4. So this uh, dialog box is available for uh, color effects pro uh, in the left panel you will get all effects uh, like landscape wedding architecture travel portrait nature and favorite and all uh, categories is there and if you are working with landscape then go to landscape and all you will get all these effects if you are working with nature photos then if you are working with portraits suppose this is my portrait image so i want to work in this segment so simply click on this then you will get all the filters here so choose any filter as you want uh, suppose uh, I want this uh, film effects vintage so we want to learn uh, vintage effect so uh, whenever I have choose this uh, then you will get uh, options for this film effects vintage in the right side so here are some options like uh, saturation warm vintage brightness grain per pixel and film strength so firstly I will uh, set vig vignetting uh, I want minus vignetting means uh, vignetting 100 means uh, the dark area around the image and uh, if this value is in plus like uh, 61 then you will get a white portion around this image so I want some dark Im um, dark uh, edges uh, around this image to get more focus on this image so uh, apply vignetting minus 13 so brightness uh, I will try some brightness values okay uh, I want I want one value uh, then if you want to put grain in your image then uh, you can do also uh, but I don't want any uh, grain so I will put its value to maximum like 500 then film strength I will talk it later then before this film type uh, this is the main effect in the in this uh, filter uh, there are so many uh, film types as you can see here you can check here and uh, I will move your mouse uh, on this effect then you will got the idea what is going what is uh, what effect is putting to this image so one by one I will check uh, whatever you like then you can put directly on your image there are so many methods for film type uh, I will check 25 okay and then 15 14 I think uh, I will check also the 6, 6 is also very nice, mm. 6, 12, okay click on this then uh, now you can adjust the, adjust the opacity for this like uh, how much effect you want on uh, this image then you just simply increase or decrease its value 100 means maximum effect of uh, this film type on this image uh, 17 percent uh, then I will check one thing one more
then I will set it to 8 then I will adjust vignetting value uh, minus 24 because I want dark edges around this uh, then move your slider for brightness up to 10% okay now you can adjust warm value for your image okay mm, set its value uh, nearby 28 then uh, if you click on here control points then you will get this opacity button now you can set uh, its opacity for this image so i want 100 percent opacity uh, okay if you want to add more uh, filter to this image uh, if you uh, by mistake directly click on any uh, any filter then it you will lose this effect now if you want to add more effect then click on add filter add filter and then uh, i want landscape then i want a detail extractor i love this effect now mm, 14 percent it saturation okay now add one more effect that is called fog in portrait you will get in nature you will get this fog effect i want fog on this image now i will uh, set its intensity okay it is 18 12 then uh, i will check all these values okay i think this is working better and uh, uh, whenever you add the effect to this image then you will get all effects here and uh, in future you can change all these values uh, if i want to change something in my color effects vintage then you can change here okay then uh, uh, suppose in detail extractor if you want to change anything then you can directly change your image if uh, I will check 5 okay then uh, 4 in fog effect uh, okay I think uh, value 1 is working better uh, for this image so uh, I want only these filters for this particular image and uh, click on OK uh, now the effect is available for this image and uh, you as you can see uh, this is before and uh, uh, this is after and uh, it is really a beautiful effect by using uh, this vintage tool so uh, if you want further improvement in your image then you can use uh, these uh, adjustments like uh, if i want more contrast or more okay then i will put one more because i want uh, more vignetting Now you can adjust uh, its opacity. Uh, okay, now you can see here uh, this is beautiful effect, and uh, this is uh, and this is final. So there is more focus in the center for uh, this by this layer. So I hope you have liked this video, and uh, please subscribe my channel if you want to learn photography in nearby Ludhiana or in Punjab. You can contact me in my uh, given number. So thank you, friends. Keep watching on this creation.